With the latest update in Clash of Clans Supercell introduced the new blacksmith building with the new equipment for each hero. This is a game changer for sure. Kags Gaming here ranking the equipment to see which is the best and worst. In this video we will go over all of them and we will rank them from best to worst, of course it's only my opinion after testing them out. Let's start with the Royal Champion, Seeking Shield. The Seeking Shield is a throw of her shield which bounces between defenses while dealing damage. Starting with level 1 up to level 18 which is for now maxed, with a whooping 2500 projectile damage, it can take out 4 defense buildings in 1-2 to two seconds which can make a big difference during the attack. Second equipment for the Royal Champion is the Royal Gem. Royal Gem heals the Royal Champion by an extra large amount. Starting from level 1 to 18 with a 2400 hit points on activation while doing extra 105 damage per second increase. A great combo between the two and for now those are the only equipment for the Royal Champion with nothing else to choose from. Next up the Grand Warden. Grand Warden has 4 different equipment he can choose from, and like the others only 2 can be chosen and being used at a time. We have the Eternal Tome, Life Gem, Healing Tome and the Rage Gem. Starting with the Eternal Tome, Grand Warden and all nearby friendly units become immune to damage, one of the strongest abilities in the game if not the best. With a simple press all the troops that are in the aura of the Grand Warden are immune to damage, it's super powerful. You have it level 15 and you can max it out to level 18 which gives it around plus 0.3 seconds more. Healing Tome. Heals the Grand Warden and all nearby friend units which is the same as like dropping a heal spell on top of them. When the Healing Tome is maxed level you get 863 health recovery points which is pretty decent but still pretty low in comparison to the healing spell which the total troop heal is 2400. Life Gem. Nearby friendly units gain extra hit points which is larger max H pages when maxed at level 18 you get 441 hit points increase, 66 damage per second increase and the max health points are increased by 725 which is okay but not so important like the other equipment. Rage Gem. Definitely my pick for the Grand Warden. Passive ability is nearby friendly units do extra damage similar to the Rage spell. When the Rage Gem is maxed you get damage increase and attack speed increase and it is very very good for the attacks. At level 18 you get 88 damage per second increase and for the Town Hall 16 building that has loads of hit points to take out the buildings it's helping a lot. Now for the Archer Queen, she has also 4 options. The Archer Puppet, Healer Puppet, Invisibility Vial and Giant Arrow. Starting with the Archer Puppet, when activated as summons a gang of archers which is helpful against single infernos or the monolith which can mask the attacks and save the queen from taking damage while they focus on the little archers. When maxed the summoned units are 35, with 440 health recovery and 144 damage per second increase, pretty strong for the queen. Next up. Healer Puppet which when activated it summons a flock of healers, not for my taste, I do not think it is a good pick, if you are a ground troops attacker and you tend to use ground attacks more often when you summon the healers the traps in the enemy base will just take them out in the spot. It will only work with air attacks and for my opinion it won't be a game changer. Invisibility Vial, when activated it turns the queen invisible and gives her stronger attacks, when maxed the ability duration will be 7.8 seconds and the extra damage will be 1740. Great overall and with the fox pet it is broken and one of the strongest in game for the archer queen. Giant arrow. Once you trigger the ability it shoots a giant piercing arrow that crosses the entire village. The problem with this is when you trigger it and you look towards some gold or elixir mines and you have low HP you shoot and you miss all the important buildings, that is pretty sad to say the least. It is a good ability but for specific attacks and not for the most. Now I saved the best for last, the Barbarian King with the 5 different equipment abilities. Barbarian Puppet, Earthquake Boots, Rage Vial, Vamp Stash and the Giant Gauntlet. Starting of with the Barbarian Puppet, summons a pack of Raged Barbarians and on the max level it summons 44 units, with 2550 hit points increase which makes the Barbarian the master of tanks. This is a great equipment to use for all the attack strategies out there. Second is the Earthquake Boots, causes a powerful earthquake which destroys walls and damages buildings. This is very similar to the Earthquake spell and it gives the extra earthquake when needed when you use 8 earthquake spells during an attack and some walls are blocking your way. For me it's not that great and I prefer to use the other ones. If you do like spam attacks it will definitely help you out. 
Third is the Rage Vial which casts Rage on the Barbarian King, increases the movement speed and damage per second, and recovers some of the health he lost during the attack, great ability to use, strong like always but there is a better option for that spot which I will show in a few seconds. Fourth is the Vamp Stash which is a passive ability that whenever the Barbarian King attacks he heals himself, we call it Life Steal in other games. So basically if you are looking for more sustain during the attacks the lifesteal will help you tank more damage and survive more. Finally the best of the best for my opinion, the giant gauntlet, upon activation the king becomes gigantic doing area damage and taking less damage. 17 seconds duration, large area damage, damage reduction, by far the best equipment out there. Let's rank all the equipment, starting from S tier which is the best and E tier which is the lowest. Let's start from the bottom of the list E tier, Healing Tome and the Healer Puppet, not a very good buff to use while attacking, most of the times it doesn't matter if you use it or not. D tier will be Vamp Stash, will help for a few seconds to get your king sustain more damage and maybe will take a building or two, I would say it is okay to use it in the lower leagues. C tier, Giant Arrow and the Royal Gem, Giant Arrow is good sometimes but if you don't plan your attack ahead and use it when the buildings are in a straight line in front of your queen it is pretty useless. Royal Gem is basically a healing buff for the Royal Champion which is pretty good give her more time to deal damage. B tier, Earthquake Boots and the Life Gem, definitely great boosts both of them, the king can use the boots to break another section of walls and let the troops attack from there and the Life Gem gives extra health to the troops for more sustain during the battle. A tier, Rage Vile, Rage Gem, Barbarian Puppet and Archer Puppet, very powerful during attacks. The puppets are great for single infernos or the monolith, just to take the damage instead of your heroes, and the rage vial and gem are great to deal much more damage for all of the troops that are inside the aura, strong addition and winning fights with it. S tier, giant gauntlet, invisibility vial, seeking shield and the eternal tome, this is the best equipment for my opinion, the giant gauntlet is by far the most broken item in the game, if the base is compacted you can deal some serious damage with the king and the giant gauntlet. The invisibility vial is also OP like the fox pet and the queen can take the town hall with it without taking any damage, seeking shield is obviously very good by taking shot of 4 targets and of course the eternal tome which makes all the troops immune to damage for a few seconds, you cannot attack without it, it is crucial to use it in every attack and you need to max it out fast. Thanks for watching and let me know down in the comments, which equipment do you think is the best?